What's up people and welcome to this week's Week in Minutes. Now normally I would share with you five and a half things that happened in Newsland that you probably missed this week but the past couple of weeks I asked you guys to leave some feedback and thanks to you guys that did. Turns out that quite a bit of you guys don't like that this segment is actually timed. So what I'll be doing is it'll be the same five stories this time five but it won't be timed and I'll still be responding to your comments that you left on stories throughout the week. So there's nothing holding us back no more. Time is not a factor. And as always, Weekend Minutes is brought to you by Gone Viral TV, streaming viral videos directly to your TV seven days a week. Our first story involves teenage icon Demi Lovato. And if you guys watch X Factor, you'll know that she's one of the new judges and she was giving some criticism to one of the contestants that didn't really do so good. A lot of people work really, really hard for their dreams, but it's not meant for everybody. That's why you use auto-tune and I don't. Oh, Simon Cowell's reaction was just priceless. He was like, <coughs> it's true. Actually. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I want to know who let you on stage. And although what he did probably was seen as mean, it's not very often where people stand up to the judges like this. But even so, if you can't take criticism, don't go on the show. I feel com uncomfortable with you even staring at me. You know, I don't need this either. So I don't need amateur out. Yeah, see you later. Now, speaking of music, you guys probably know this guy. He goes by the name of Psy. He's a Korean pop artist. He's famous for that dance where it looks like he's riding a horse. Yeah, that thing right there. Over in California, a group of lifeguards decided to do a little spoof to the Ganom style. And after they uploaded the video, all 14 of them got fired. But they're like, hey, we were off duty. We we're just having some fun. Why did we get fired? No, but the city said that they were fired because they're using private property and they were using the lifeguard uniform for private use. Way to go, Sai. You got 14 people fired. You see, this is like the butterfly effect. You know, one thing happens. If the guy didn't create the song, he wouldn't have made a dance. And if the guy didn't make a dance, it wouldn't have been uploaded. And if it was uploaded, people wouldn't see it. And the lifeguards wouldn't make a spoof about it. And they wouldn't get fired. And then there you go. Gangnam Star. And the people who got fired started a Facebook page and a petition to get their job back. Gangnam Star. Oh my god, I'm done. And now for story number three. Story number three is... Yeah, just listen. There's a college beauty contest going on where they are in search of the most beautiful college girl. But the people in charge of the contest are coming under a lot of fire simply because they require the girls to have perfectly spaced nipples. The two points have to be 20 centimeters apart and they have to provide proof of this. And one of the organizers said, we want our winners to be extremely good looking. For the girls watching out there, would you take part in a beauty pageant? that required you to have perfectly spaced nipple pints. Now for most people, if they saw someone sleepwalking, their first reaction would be to go ah! But not Nick. He popped out his camera and started recording his mom sleepwalking. And what exactly are you doing, ma'am? It's a special code. And after the incident, he plays it back for his mom after, you know, like she's really awake. And she's going like, what? I have no recollection of what happened. Nick has definitely made a viral sensation out of himself and also his mom. That's just the power of social media right there. Just pop out your camera, record any craziness, boom. Now, you know how a lot of people go crazy over video games? Well, it turns out that a lot of people will do some crazy things over video games. A couple of teams were playing on Xbox Live when they had like this altercation going on and now they say that it wasn't over the actual game that they're playing but there was some ongoing feud that was going on between one guy and a close family friend. Kemp says the anger had nothing to do with the game. It was a continued feud with the friend that inflamed. And I'm like, bro, if you want to do this, you come over to my house right now and we'll do this right now. Not thinking that the guy would actually bring over a gun and a knife. And tries to shoot me and he shot it and it went right past my head, almost hit me. After the gunshot came the knife attack. Then the paramedics. There are 22 stab wounds now stitched together. So yes, people, that was your untimed weekend minutes. 
All right, guys, now the story that you responded to most this week was Obama's speech at the DNC. Roxas6674 says that she hates both candidates, Obama and Mitt Romney. We should get new ones. It's just tough luck because who else are you going to pick from? Sarah Palin for president? Ace Combat Merck says, if you like socialism, vote for Obama. Watch your freedom go down the drain. So I'm guessing Romney has your vote. But I think we as a people start losing our freedom when we put too much faith in politicians, thinking that, oh, as soon as this person gets gets in power, everything will be solved. The government doesn't have to be involved in every single aspect and detail of our life. And yeah, just make sure that you know your rights and stand up for them. Crazy Bot 700 didn't even want to vote for Obama in the first place, said that he was too inexperienced. So I gotta ask you, who do you think would be the best presidential candidate? We know who the Kirkster 100 will be voting for. John M. Keller says, Obama equals fail, Romney equals success. But from what I've observed in the past, no matter who is selected the same thing is going to happen promises are going to be broken good times will happen bad times will happen satisfy my soul has some insight he says that the democrats and republicans aren't the only parties so americans out there you have more options but in any case it will be interesting to see how these elections go down and thanks to all you guys for checking out this week's week in minutes don't forget to tune in throughout the week for the regular ftd news episodes and if you do want even more of me throughout the week check out my main channel where I do all my comedy stuff basically everything that I do when I'm not talking about news but I'll see you guys real soon until next time this is Leroy Stedman Kenton boom me out